All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So, uh, you know, with Twin Twisters coming out and uh, it didn't get hit on the band list, it's pretty much the new definitive MST. Like, MST is still great. Not all decks can play MST. I mean, Twin Twister and not every deck can take that uh, discarding cost, so they just play MST, which is totally fine. But you can arguably say that Twin Twister is the new hot shit. And uh, you thought, well, how can Konami top that? How can Konami come up with anything better? Because lately, over the years, they create some back row destruction, but none of them can compare to, of course, MST and Tell Twin Twister. And now we have yet another card that's going to throw its hat in the ring for like, hey, you might want to consider me as well. This is Cosmic Cyclone. Don't get don't mixed up with Galaxy Cyclone. I know. Space C Cyclone, right? Right, right. Uh, the effect is simple, and uh, when I read it, you'll be like, okay, okay, I see you. Quick play spell card, just like MST, so... And Twin Twister, so that's a bonus. Like, if you're a quick play spell card that pops back row, I mean, you can, al you can already uh, compete with uh, MST because you need to be that quick play spell card. We thought that maybe Galaxy Cyclone, I mean, it gets that double pop, face up, face down, but it's only spell speed one. You need that, you need that powerful spell speed two. You need that I can set it, I can hit you during the end phase. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and get to the effect. Pay 1,000 life points. All right, all right, you know. Uh, we had a previous card that we paid 1,000 life points to get something. It's not going to say any names. It's currently banned, but uh, uh, <laughs> as officially today, it's banned. Uh, pay 1,000 life points and target one spell slash trap on the field. You know, what, what, destroy it? Like, that's dumb. Like, why would I do it? Banish it. Ooh, banish it? That, that's a whole nother ball game. All right. So, MSC, you don't pay 1,000 life points to go ahead and target a spell or trap on the field. Pop it. So, even out, right? This card's pretty much the same boat, except you're paying a thousand life points, but what are you paying a thousand life points for? To banish it. And of course, this isn't, it's not like this card is always traded as MST. If you want to go ahead and run three MSTs and three Cosmic Cyclones, and then three Twin Twister, more power to you. But that banishing, that, that is a whole nother level, alright? So let's go ahead and discuss some powerful things you can do that. Starting it off with, Banish some pendulum skills. Like, yes, get them out of here. So, um, as you know, sometimes you don't want to MST or Twin Twister some Pendulum Scales, because of course Pendulum Monster is going to go back to Extract, and if the scales get set up again, you're going to go ahead and get them monsters that were previously Pendulum Scales, Pendulum Summoned on you. Not the greatest, right? Alright, uh, Wavering Eyes is banned, so, you know, at least you don't have to worry about anybody like, you know, oh, well, I'm going to Cosmic Cyclone your, one of your Pendulum Scales, Chain, Wavering Eyes, ah ha ha, pop and get a search, like, no, 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 you know, there's no more Wavering Eyes, thank God, Konami. But, uh, no. <laughs> banish the Pendulum Scale? Banish that monster in the Pendulum Scale? It's gone. Like, it's banished. Like, that's, that's great. You know, that, that's awesome. So, that is just one of the benefits that you can go ahead and get from uh, Cosmic Cyclone over MST and Twin Twister. You banish the Pendulum Scale. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about some things that you would like to banish. Like, hmm, I don't know. Uh, deck that kind of got hit, but not really. Only with Emergency Teleporter 2. Hmm, oh, I guess in Region 1. Hmm, hmm. Maybe Cosmos? Alright. You would main deck them Twin Twisters, that's great and all, you know, you can pop that back row, then you run into uh, uh, a Cosmo Duelist who maybe runs some back row, maybe not, but they're probably going to get that Cosmo Town, I mean, and what are you going to do? What are you going to do? MST or Twin Twister that Cosmo Town? Of course not. It's just going to go off and then possibly just get another freaking Cosmo Town. Great. But Cosmic Cyclone's like, hey, banish the Cosmo Town. Like, Cos Cosmos are used to getting their, their monsters banished, but never their Phil Seller. Like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, gone. Like... For a thousand life points, I would gladly get rid of your Cosmic Town. So that is definitely a benefit right there. It's like, all right, and let's talk about an obscure one, obscure one, all right? Back in the day, before Twin Twister, there was, of course, MST. And uh, you would love to go ahead and MST during your turn, but then, ah, damn it, it's an artifact. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a Sanctum, or it's a, it's a, it's, it's a Moral Talk, or sh even re more recently, it's a Scythe artifact. Damn. You know, so not only did you not pop anything good, you actually popped something bad. You you stepped on the wrong panel. So, what about Cosmic Cyclone? Ah, ah, ah. Let me go ahead and target that. Banish it. Oh, what? It was your only morale talk. Ah, and I hit it with that Cosmic Cyclone and it's banished? Ah. <laughs> See, so, so like I said, that, that whole banishing thing takes it to another level. All right, let me give you one more. And this, this play is probably bad, but... Um, of course, we have another deck, top tier deck that didn't get hit. We have, of course, Monarchs. Monarchs. They didn't get hit, so you're going to be seeing a lot of them, especially since it's just gold, Walmart, buy three structure decks, slapping together. Oh, damn, I got a top tier deck that ain't going to get hit for months. You know, so definitely you're going to be seeing a lot of Monarchs. What can this do against Monarchs? Well, uh, you know, they don't always go ahead and send that, uh, that, uh, Prime to the graveyard. Sometimes they set it and do that play, so you can go ahead and, you know, 
uh, Cosmic Cyclone banish that prime, but uh, you can go ahead and Cosmic Cyclone banish that uh, that domain so it doesn't go to the graveyard and get it set up for possible plays. The only thing that you gotta worry about, you gotta worry about, you gotta worry about the idea. Idea, you can go ahead and grab some Syntax. You gotta be aware of that. And of course, this this play is probably the worst of all. You know, why would you do that? Your opponent activates Pantheism, pitches and draws. You can go ahead and chain Cosmic Cyclone. It won't stop, of course, it's just like MST. MST doesn't negate, so it won't stop the Pantheism from drawing the two. But it will go ahead and banish the Pantheism, therefore not ha not having in the graveyard to banish to get the search. So, hmm? 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 I don't know, I'm, I'm just not things out here. So, uh, is Cosmic Cyclone great? Yes, it is. Uh, do I think it has a place? Yes, it does, you know. Like I said, it's just amazing that, you know, these last two cards that are like, you know, MST pseudo cousins have just been showing their 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 strength. They're like, hey, you know, I'm an upgrade. Do this card, I'll pop two. And this one's like, hey, you pay a thousand life points, I'm gonna banish it. Like, they're both of them quick play spells. Both of them just showing their chops along with MST. So, uh, yeah, I'm liking this. I'm liking this because, like I said, back in the day, it always used to be like, yeah, that that that, that back row destruction is nice and all, but MST. It's like, oh uh, well, Twister, like MST, Double Cyclone. MST. Dust Tornado. MST. But now it's like, hmm, well, I can go MST and not pay anything, or I can go Cosmic Cyclone and play a thousand and banish the Spell Trap. Okay, well, if I don't need to banish Spell Trap, then I can just keep hold my thousand life points and just pop the back row to regular MST. Or if I can discard, let me hit two for the price of one with that Twin Twister. So, you know, there's a lot more options now. We have cards that actually compete with MST, and I actually like that. So I would actually think that Cosmic Cyclone is really great. I would I would throw it I would throw it up there. Um, second or third. Like I said, it's just situational. I'd probably say I'd say I'd probably say it's better than MST. I'd I'd go ahead and pay a thousand life points with with all those situations that I said, especially in the metagame, uh I'd definitely say that this card is better than MST, but you know, I wouldn't say it's good as Twin Twister because I love that price, you know, that price for, price for one, two for the price of one. You know, just discard, pop two, you know, that, that's something that Cosmic can't do. And while they all even out, I'd rather get two back rows than just one. But the thousand life points, that ain't anything, you know. I'm, I'm taking more of a neg by discarding, you know, I'm losing resources. Life points, psh, take the thousand and go ahead and banish uh, a Pendulum Scale, that Cosmic Town, some of the Monarch cards. Like I said, it, it's all good. It's all good, so... Uh, definitely, I'd say Cosmic Cyclone's number two, then MST, and then Galaxy Cyclone, and then all the rest of them, <laughs> right? So, uh, but definitely, uh, Cosmic Cyclone has earned its spot up there. So, anyway, tell me what you guys think about Cosmic Cyclone in the comment section below. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Of course, I'll be back on Wednesday to review a card, which will, I'm a little bit spoiled, will have something to do in tandem with the Fake Card Friday. You know, sometimes we do that, sometimes we don't, but this week it will, so uh, look forward to it. Uh, so thanks for watching, thanks for all support, and uh, yeah, see you guys next time with some more card review. Thanks for watching.